Hello guys, my name is Chase and I'm going to be presenting you guys a new series slash episodes of creating and programming a RuneScape private server. So the things that you need to start off by programming and starting your server, you need JDK, Java, and WinRAR to um, extract the files over. Uh, I will provide all the links down below in the description and if you have all these already go ahead and download the um, the server slash client um, files so you can so you can um, have some so you can have the RuneScape private server folders and once you have that it should be on your desktop after when you extracted it so what I'm starting you off with is a basic um, RuneScape server and you guys might be saying like Chase I'm not going to use this in the future but I will pre I will later on the series I will be showing you guys like Eclipse and everything what you want to know about coding but and then I'll show you the good servers but for right now I want to just get you started so um, basically what you want to do is run server.bat and it should be pretty basic and then always run your source before your client and then blank client run server.bat.bat now what this um, windows batch file will do is open up the game of runescape so um, do my username one two three four five and as you can see you log into your server and basically you own the server you own the game but you don't own the game quite yet reason why is because you're not the owner I mean you are the owner of the files but you're not the actual owner in the game so how you want to make yourself owner what I did was I went to blank source uh, characters and look for your name Chase I'm gonna edit that and then wherever it says rights I'm gonna put three um, two is moderator and three is owner for what I know so click save and whatever this is, this is not your password. It's just some kind of weird generator uh, program. I don't know why it exists. And then you didn't have to close out your uh, source and client. I just did that because that's my habit. Um, so just rerun it up and we'll log in and we'll see if I'm the owner. And one thing is that I'm going to try to be making episodes at least once every other day because I have my own server right now. And okay, that must be moderator or something. But anyways, um, let's just put two in. That should be owner. Unless the um, icons look a lot different. But on my server that I'm creating right now, it's um it's three. Or yeah, three for owner. Okay, yeah, so you're hmm. You're basically owner for all these um rights, I guess. This is a very old server by the way, so I'm just testing it out. So yeah, it is. Let's try one real quick. I don't really know the ranks of these servers or of this server. It's every server is different. Okay. There you go. Yellow icon. So the rank is one. Okay, so basically now you're the owner inside of the game. Now you guys might be asking me, okay, what do I do now? Like so if you do want to become a RuneScape private server um developer, 
you need to know how to learn to code Java. And so if you guys are just from um, playing RuneScape and you want to know how to make your own server, this is how you make your own server. But all these files like door, okay, that ain't it. This is all Java right here. And it's completely fine if you create a server like what I just said right here and you have no idea what you're doing. Because these series slash episodes are going to help you out a lot. But <clears throat> I would recommend looking up some Java um, tutorial videos on like what p.cast spell means. And it equals true. Like I would look that stuff up. I would look up videos on to learn Java as well. And these tutorials and videos will show you how to do stuff in the game. Adding like NPCs, bosses, etc. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm breathing heavily, guys. So, um, one thing that I want to do real quick is that most people do not like this background at all. So, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to change the background real quick. So, um, let's. Let's just do um, RuneScape background. Let's let's just do this one. And I'm gonna look up PNG real quick. Okay, we got three minutes left. Save picture as. So once we downloaded that, download any uh, picture that you want. <clears throat> I think this is what it is right here. Yep. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to go back to my blank client. We're going to exit out of that real quick. Just because. Um, sprites. And oh my gosh, what the heck? I'm guessing it's going to be one of these folders right here. Let's take a second to find it. Hopefully, we can find it in the next second. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. Okay, guys, so um, I did find the PNG file for the background. It is a death moon PNG. So after when you copied your that PNG, what I want you to do is remember that name, Death Moon. I want to paste that in there. Now find your um, PNG that you just pasted. Oh my gosh, wherever it is at. Okay. And I am going to delete this. Okay, remember, death moon. Death moon. Okay. And we're going to go to my new one that I just put in. Death moon. Save that. And then we're going to go back to compile the server real quick. Oh, I got one minute left. I'm using Bandicam, guys, so um, I gotta hurry up. And I'm just gonna talk real quick before the video ends. Um, so for my next episode, I'm going to be creating, or um, like when my next um episode is gonna happen, it's probably either tomorrow or a couple days from now. And basically, there is a background right there. Now you guys are a little bit confused why the fire is not going. Well, as you guys can see, what we added was a... We added a... Come on, come on, come on. Sprites. We added a PNG file. We didn't, have a, we didn't add a GIF. So if you want the fire to be going on, go find a GIF. And that should work. So I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. Um, if you guys have any requests on what videos you should want me to make, just comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.